bright I can't see but good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel um, something different today I've been uh, given a route by a friend and I've come out to try and find my way around that I've got no S I've got no OS map which shouldn't be too much of a problem because uh, it's not particularly high level or you know there shouldn't be any navigational difficulties so yeah I've got a uh, a bit of a route in my mind it's going up towards Bullsworth Hill and you might be able to see in the distance there it's probably focusing on my face though Pendle Hill one of my favorites um, never seen it from this aspect so that's really good I've got the Sun in my eyes so uh, I'm squinting I'm gonna start the walk I'm gonna see what happens it's a nice circular route and um, if you give me one second I'm not really um, full of information at the moment i'm gonna just have a little look and uh tell you wickler or why collar wickler so i'm basically at wickler country park um car park and i'm gonna head along the pendle and bronte way and all the way up to the summit of bullsworth hill lad law is the name of the summit it's just absolutely stunning day three degrees when i woke up there's frost on the ground. We get lots of nice scenery in. Hopefully find some nice audio tracks to overlay. And it's uh, hopefully something nice to watch in these testing times. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Day off work. In the great outdoors. That's what it's all about. Let's have a lovely walk. So just at this lovely old ruin and I'm, I'm sorry that I can't tell you about it because I've not really done my research, it was a last minute decision to come here but hopefully I'll overlay some facts below but it's lovely, really atmospheric, I don't know what century it was built in but you can obviously see all the old windows and uh, places I've had a little wander around where fireplaces used to be and stuff like that, it's actually really nice, I'll just take you in a little bit, it's, uh, the doorways possibly where the fireplace used to be days gone by with these lovely windows these nice doors and people in that day were a bit smaller than us possibly you bang your head on that so yeah it's really nice maybe there's a chimney there where the walls all cut out but I'll have to research this So I think this is the, the village or the hamlet of Wickler or Wycolor, be pronouncing it wrong no doubt, corrected by the masses, but yeah it's lovely. Really nice, this bridge. There we go. There we go. 
lovely. Lovely place. It's getting a few funny looks by the locals. Just talking to the camera. Just gotta get past it. That's about right. The Pennine Bridleway. So what a lovely winter's day, really nice, frost, blue skies, high level clouds, cirrus, alto cirrus, formed from ice crystals and shaped by the high level winds. But it's a new area for me, like I say, I should have probably got an OS map, um, I don't need any lectures, I know I should have done but I'm not in the middle of nowhere. I've got a power bank and some spare batteries and stuff like that, so for the worst case scenario, I've got a long walk back to the car. But, yeah, I've got these Lomo, or Lomo, Lomo Water Sport. Kindly sent two walking poles, carbon fibre trekking poles, just for me to test. Um, and although I have used walking poles in the past, you know, I'm pretty much used them for putting up tarps and things like that. So, you know, quite a few of my mates and some of the other channels I watch. Uh, Andy Wardle, I know he always often walks with poles and he rates them, so I'm keen to try him out. I'll wait till I get on some steeper ground and, you know, just see what difference they make. But look at the views. Just look at that. It's like a scene. It's like a scene from a Christmas card. Absolutely lovely area. Anyway, we'll carry on and speak to you in a bit. <laughs> it's another broken gate. Cut. Well, I think we're back on track. Um, just following that river, a bit of a stream. Uh, it's the Bronte Way, like I've said. And we kind of lost our way a bit. And there's a bit of an information sign here, so I'm gonna have a look at that, get my bearings. Obviously you can see the target in the distance, Bullsworth and Lost Lad. So in theory, I shouldn't really be getting lost. But it is good fun. Sign there for the Pennine Bridleway. Public footpath to Wickler. That's what we've decided to call it. And here's a signpost. So we're gonna read that, get some information. Now I'm not sure what side of this stream we should be on, but here's a map. I'm thinking right, but I'm gonna wear. Here's a map, Jesus Christ, look at that. Oh dear. <laughs> so 
to as you've just seen then it's lovely terrain really nice I always describe it as quite bleak especially at this time of year with the colours being quite muted and brown but it's a little bit like the Peak District I mean I can't believe there's no one about that doesn't happen very often for me I'm normally inundated with fellow walkers but I've got the place to myself so far uh, there's one lady earlier on with a dog but it's lovely all can hear is that stream babbling away to my left and the sound of grouse a couple of grouse chuckling away somewhere in the heather and to my left is Bullsworth Hill uh, it's obviously an outlier of Pendle Hill and I'm told I mean Walshy and I were we did plan to wow camp here but we got a bit lost and we run out of time so we just went to an alternative venue just just to the side of it I'll leave a link to that video above but yeah it was our target anyway it's up there turn you around Bullsworth Hill I think the summit is called Lad Ladlaw to the path no issues like I say I'll make a decision when I get to the top as to whether I'm gonna complete the circular route or play it safe and retrace my steps back to Wickler and then work my way back up to the car you know I probably will give a serious element if you're gonna run out of light I mean I obviously always bring a map so I've been a bit stupid but if in doubt and you're running out of time and the light just just retrace your steps just play the safe option I mean, there's no like I say there's no difficult ground there's not going to be any horrific drama but yeah what a lovely winter's day listen to that That's what it's all about, the great outdoors, you know, times of Covid, people can't normally do what they do but I've seen an increase in people finding a love for the outdoors which is great because it doesn't cost anything does it, you don't need expensive gear and you can just come out and enjoy this and like I always extol the virtues in my videos good for the body keeps you fit keeps you toned not if you drink real ale but it's good for you doesn't cost a lot you can enjoy it with all the family you can tailor your walks to suit your different fitness levels young or old and it's good for the old mental health resets the stresses of life and I think a lot of people are finding that at the moment they're like wow I didn't know it was so good well I should have subscribed to MCM Outdoors years ago but I'll shut up I have a tendency to waffle Pendle Hill you can see the area of forest that we normally walk up by I'm missing that I'm gonna be doing a winter camp there as soon as we get some snow I'm heading up there but different perspective anyway I can see uh, there's a junction in the path just down there I'm gonna wind our way up and onto the the summit ridge I want to know any of the uh, people that watch the channel I'm really into I always love reading books of the Himalayas I've done into thin air K2. Um, God, what's the other one? I've done. I've read most of the Everest expedition books. Has anyone ever trekked to base camp or done the Annapurna circuit? That's on the bucket list. You know, I've been watching Everest a lot, and there's a good documentary on Netflix called Mountain. If anyone's not seen that, watch it. It's really cinematic. There's loads of really high high definition drone footage of the Himalayas and it tries to sum up there's not much talking in it opposite of me 
and it tries to sum up what people love about the mountains um, what drives us to go into them and why do you do it that, that's a big question isn't it why do you why do you climb Everest and a lot of people say the old um, stereotypical answer because it's there it's a lot more than that isn't it so and it means different things to different people so in the comments do we have anyone who's genuinely been to the Himalayas trekked around there or been to Everest base camp because that is on my bucket list that I would absolutely love it and one day before I'm old and grey not that I can go grey really but a grey beard I'd love to trek to Everest base camp and just as opposed to reading it reading about it in books I want to go and see it I want to go and look at it myself and sit and have a beer and stare up at Mount Everest and I will do it so I'd love to hear any sort of experiences but we are now starting the ascent of our little hill in comparison so far grouse just get the old buff out keep the head warm or well, keep my ears warm I don't want to put a hat it's too warm for a hat and uh, my ears are getting cold so if you put a buff on you stop your ears getting that achy coldness and you can still lose heat so it comes in handy Nice little ear warmer. You know, you might look a bit stupid, but who cares about that? It's not cold enough for gloves, but I brought them along anyway. Oh, says the man with no map. Always be prepared. Wine gums, like the staple, the staple fuel of the walk. Got some sandwiches and stuff to have. Gonna have a look at them stones and then turn right and go to the summit of Ladlaw proper. I think what I've decided I'm gonna do is play it safe and uh, retrace my steps back down. Still no one about. It's the benefit of having days off in the week. Crack on. Keep moving.
How's this for a lovely lunch spot? Uh, it's getting on a little bit past lunch to be honest, but excuse me, sniffy nose. Um, yeah, it's been a lovely walk. I mean, just listen. All you can hear is grouse and that weird sound when it's so quiet that you can almost hear the silence. So, yeah, tried out the poles. To be honest, my views on them are the good. I don't normally use walking poles, like I say, except for putting up tarps and I've done a little bit of reading on them, how you should set them up, what they're for. But coming down across that really uneven terrain, uh, number one, they're really light. So they're really well made. They are very well put together. I've had lecky poles in the past. Like I said, I've been walking, hiking, scrambling for about 25 years now. And I used to bought, well, I bought a pair of lecky poles back in the day. They lasted a good, they lasted over 10 years before they gave up the ghost. And I just use it for throwing tarps up around the garden now. But these are really well made. I'll put the links to them below and I will do a full detailed review in a future video. I won't harp on about them too much in this video, other than to say they are really well made, they're very reasonably priced for the pair and uh, the light and I found coming down off the, the summit over that uneven boggy terrain where you, you need a feel for the ground before you're putting your foot down, they do aid with stability and they aid with confidence so if you're a little bit unsure on your feet, you're just sort of new to walking or you're a little bit older or you know you're suffering with um, problems with your with your muscles, your legs, your lower back, and you're struggling with your stability or your balance. They'd be really good. So check out the link below and stay tuned to the channel because I'll make a full detailed review of them. Suffice to say, I'm impressed with them so far. So Rob, thanks for sending them, and and they are a good bit of kit. Uh, we we'll look at them again in detail in a future video. I'm gonna have lunch. I'm just in awe, to be honest, at these these views you know I love the outdoors and this is why just listen tranquility peace and quiet I can see Inglebre it's just amazing isn't it I'm gonna have my lunch being stared at by a grouse you can just see its head looking up at me bobbing up just above the heather I don't know why I'm waving to it lost it Well, it doesn't take long just sitting still to start feeling cold so that's it but a nice bit of lunch um, and like I say you know I haven't got a map so my decision is I'm going to retrace the route back uh, I think that's a sensible thing to do big bank of cloud over to the west and that's going to make it even darker sooner so I think that's the best option it's quite sort of featureless farmland on the way back the route I had planned so yeah I'll stick with the uh, the safer sensible option but it's been nice lovely walk in the great outdoors no better place I'm gonna get my gloves on for the descent back to the stream and the small village forget the name of it now um, but yeah I've had a lovely day out I'll speak to you on the route back before we get back to the car
I spoke about these gloves before. These are really good. Made by Hestra. Ergo Grip Active they are. I bought them myself a few years ago from Keswick and they're absolutely superb. Nice and warm, pre-shaped fingers. I wish they'd been sent to me, don't we all? But uh, it was worth it. They've, uh, they've been brilliant. Just stop the wind dead. Really sort of loads of articulation in them and they're really well made. They smell really good as well. <laughs> If you're into that kind of thing, but cracking, cracking pair of gloves. We're uh, we're starting the descent now. A really bitingly cold breeze starting. But yeah, I'll speak to you when I'm off the hill. We we'll get back on the flat path, and um, I'll talk to you in a bit. So just before we get off the hill, and we're on back onto the path to the car. Just wanted to say, you know, if anyone's not tried hill walking and you've stumbled across this video and you're not really into the outdoors, but maybe you're doing a bit of research because, because of lockdown and there's not much to do other than go on walks and things like that. Hopefully this video has summed what it's all about. It's so, so peaceful and tranquil. Usually, you know, you avoid the less crowded peaks and you can get places all to yourself. I've seen a couple of people but other than that I've had it to myself um, so if you're working like stressful jobs and things like that and you just need a bit of downtime and headspace it's absolutely unbeatable you know just be safe check out some of the other videos in the channel check out some of the other channels because it's a great community there's loads of absolutely brilliant channels out there you learn everything you need to but it's just absolutely there's something special about it I love it I'll always love it and yeah hopefully um, you do get something from these videos it's a bit corny isn't it now but if you do like it always remember just give it a quick thumbs up um, it doesn't cost you anything and it does help me out so I do appreciate that and if you don't like it give it a thumbs down because that also helps me out as well um, so yeah I'm gonna make my way back to the car it's gonna be a memorable one it's all about making memories ticking it off the list I've actually got a walking journal which I stopped filling in years ago and I might use my videos as a reference and backdate them. Start filling in that again but what a magical day. Magical day out on the hills. And uh, I just enjoy editing the videos just as much. I get just as much enjoyment out of that really. Um, and then you know hopefully seeing some positive comments and feedback of, of people who enjoy watching it. So yeah, we've got to stop rambling and I'm going to crack on back to the car because I think about an hour and a half it's probably going to be dark and um, we've got a couple of miles to make up so I'll speak to you hopefully if there's some more views I'll let you know but I'll speak to you in a bit may as well do the sign off now on this one if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up like I say it costs nothing it helps me out on YouTube if you've got any feedback if it's constructive let me know in the comments below and I'll respond to every single one check out the back catalogue I think there's over 230 odd videos now and if you are a Facebook user we've got a group a group a group an Augustus group we've got a Facebook group Come over and join that, I'll let you in, or Ant or Tony, one of the other moderators. And it's all things great outdoors, a friendly and safe environment. There's no stupid arguments, and there's a big, huge, massive wealth of knowledge in the group as well. So everyone's welcome to join. Just follow the rules, and uh, it'll be great. Um, Instagram, 
MCM Outdoors is also on Instagram, so I'd appreciate it if you follow me on that. Uh, I'm not very good at Instagram. I post things and um, yeah, struggle a little bit on that platform. So appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to me on that. So that is it. A brilliant day in the great outdoors. Another walk plan for tomorrow. Uh, so there's going to be some more content for you. Like I say, I've had a lot on. It's been a bit of a struggle to get things out. Uh, I won't say any more than that. So yeah, um, go and enjoy the great outdoors. No better time if you're stuck in tier three areas. Um, OS map, explore, sit yourself down with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a, a glass of beer or a glass of wine and study the map, find out what's on your doorstep and you'd be surprised at some of the, the footpaths, bridleways and trails which are just on your own doorstep. Look after the great outdoors, leave no trace, if you're going through gates make sure you shut them, there's been a lot of that today and just come out and enjoy it, it's got absolutely tons of benefits and there's nothing better. Look after yourselves and I will see you all on the next adventure. Take care.